Welcome to the Expediter TSO Testing Subroutines Module. Here you will learn how Expediter may be used to test a subroutine while testing the driver program and how to test a subroutine on its own. In order to use Expediter to test a subroutine and its driver program, the user must inform Expediter of that intent. You will learn how to do that. In order to use Expediter to test a subroutine alone, the user must ensure that the setup has sufficient information. You will learn how to do that. All subroutine testing assumes that the source is available in a DDIO file. If not, a subroutine may still be called for its processing, but code step through will not be available. We will first look at testing a subroutine and its driver program. We begin in a testing session. The driver program information is shown at the top. A breakpoint has been set at a subroutine call statement and we begin execution. Here we see that the breakpoint was reached and the current execution point is at the call statement. The go1 command is issued and we are then positioned at the perform immediately after the call statement. The call was made, the subroutine completed its processing, and control was returned to the driving program. In this case, we did not see any of the code in the subroutine because we did not inform Expediter of the need to do so. Let's find out how to work with the source code for a subroutine. Beginning in the testing session for the driver program, we use the intercept command, abbreviated as INT, followed by the subroutine name. This will bring into view the source code for the subroutine and set the standard before and after breakpoints shown here in the subroutine. These breakpoints may be deleted, but at least one breakpoint of any type must be present in the subroutine to step through the logic. Pressing F6 returns the view to the current execution point in the driving program. Here we enter the go command and the next breakpoint encountered is at the beginning of the subroutine. Entering the go1 command moves the current execution point to the next line in the subroutine. Testing a subroutine is no different than testing a driving program. All of the expediter commands used in testing a driving program are also available while stepping through the code in a subroutine. Now let's look at an alternative. Beginning in the testing session for the driver program, we may either use the source command with the subroutine name or simply overtype the program name. Either method will bring into view the source code for the subroutine, assuming it is in the DDIO file. Note that this will only bring the source code to view. To step through the code, the user must establish at least one breakpoint. During testing, what happens if an abend occurs in the code of a subroutine? Let's find out. In this example, the driving program issues a subroutine call. The subroutine name is shown in the call statement and in the program ID statement. If the source code for the subroutine does exist in the DDIO file, the processing will stop and the current execution pointer will be on the compute statement in the subroutine. If, however, there is no source code for the subroutine, the processing will stop and the current execution pointer will be on the call statement in the driving program. We will now look at testing a subroutine alone. First of all, recall that the initial screen for testing a driving program normally includes the JCL and the JCL provides the load library information for the program to be tested. 
on the same screen, when the program named is a subroutine, there is no corresponding JCL. We must go to the setup area and review the specified load libraries, adding the load library containing the subroutine if necessary. Back on the testing launch screen, we press enter, as usual, and the subroutine source displays. The program information is at the top, and the before and after breakpoints are set by Expediter. After appropriately populating program variables, testing may continue, the same as for a driving program. You may encounter a special situation where the DDIO source code for the subroutine is available, but the DDIO source code for the driving program is unavailable. Let's look at how to handle this case. Launch a test of the driving program as usual. With no source available, the log automatically comes into view and we see that it contains the no source message. At this point, we may enter the intercept command, naming the subroutine to be tested. The source for the subroutine will display, and we see the usual before and after breakpoints. What we do not see is the current execution pointer, because that is in the driving program. We enter the go command, which executes the driving program. The first breakpoint encountered is here in the subroutine at the beginning. Note the values in the keep window, which were passed from the driving program. We enter another go command, which takes us to the go back. We now enter another go command, which actually takes us back to the driving program, which we do not see, to the subroutine call there, and back again to the before breakpoint in the subroutine. Note that the values in the keep window have changed with the second call to the subroutine. Testing may be terminated with the standard exit command. This concludes this module. Thank you.